Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel, wherever you're joining me from in the world today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First time viewers, my name is Kathy. I'm an intuitive holistic health coach, wellness mentor and spiritual guide. And these two messages today coming in this week, reading from my beautiful archangels again, uh, beautiful messages coming through. They're gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, Kyle Gray, uh, only 22 cards, 22 archangels in this deck. And your little bonus clarifiers are coming in from the Angels of Abundance. And these are just like little messages at the end. You could take these as two separate messages, beautiful souls. Or as I always say, there's usually always a, um, a synergy between the two. And your first one out today from the Archangels. Now, this is so in sync and such a progression from yesterday's message. So first time viewers beautiful new subscribers. If you haven't yet checked out yesterday's message, <coughs> excuse me, go back and check it out if this one is resonating with you. Your card today is beautiful Archangel Jophiel. Now again, we're just getting all this sun energy still happening through the cards, right? This light over you, this beautiful angelic presence, beautiful souls. People, as I've talked about before, can see it. They can feel it. It's in your aura now. You have such divine protection from the angelic realm. But Archangel Jophiel is here to say, trust the unfolding. Yesterday's message was all about faith. Gotta have faith. Good old George Michael. Gotta have faith. There is no wrong path only choices that take you closer to or further away from love. Now, I watched a near-death experience quite some time ago now, beautiful souls, and when they stood before God doing their life review and all of the things, and they were taken up there to be shown, to be sent back, the question that God said, and I think it was a man, I can't remember now, I just remember his question was, what did you do with love? What did you do with love? That love is the answer to all things, being in unity, loving one another, loving ourselves because we are all one, right? When you nail that down, I'm pretty sure you've nailed down life. Trust the unfolding. Many of you have been questioning, they're just saying, are you on the right path? And, and I love when these messages come through because straight away it should put you at ease that you are always in the right place at the right time. I'm pretty sure I said that yesterday as well. Nothing is by chance. You're exactly where you need to be no matter what it looks like around you. There is no wrong path, only choices that take you closer to or further away from love. Jophiel's name means the beauty of God and she is the angel of light and grace here to help us find the beauty in life. Some of you may have lost the shine they're just saying um, around you. Things may have been quite bleak and dark. Uh, maybe just in this last season for some of you it's been a while. For others of you, you know, it may be just they're just saying the same old, same old. You've kind of lost the spark and lost the joy. Beautiful Archangel Jophiel is here to say, I'm coming back in to help you with this. She is mentioned in many mystical texts, including the Zohar, the central book of the Kabbalah, as the guardian angel of Torah and is often considered a keeper of the Garden of Eden. As her name suggests, she is all about honoring beauty and finding beauty in all things. Now, gratitude came up in yesterday's message, being grateful for the little things, the fingers and toes, the arms and the legs, the clothes on the back, the screen that you're watching this video on, beautiful souls, whatever that is, but just finding joy and beauty, looking out, you can see you know, are you at a park? Do you have a garden? You know, noticing the flowers, whatever it is, there is beauty in all things that God created, that God created beautiful souls, not man, right? <laughs> they were just like, put that in. 
With her connection to the Garden of Eden, she is associated with nature and best felt outdoors in nature. What did I just say? Some of you need to go back to be doing your grounding exercises outside in nature, in the dirt, in the sunshine, under the trees, you know, in the park, at the beach, in the mountains, by the river, uh, you know, by the stream, at the lake, whatever it is for you, in the backyard, barefoot for at least 20 minutes grounding connecting with mother earth being aware and being grateful of the beauty that is surrounding you right now your message your life is forever unfolding constantly responding to your actions to your choices and even your non-actions now rolling the dice and taking a chance beautiful souls came up in a message last week right Every single thing that we do and think is putting you either closer to your dreams and goals or it's putting you back or holding you back. We are co-creating our future, right? Right in this present moment, your thoughts, your feelings, your words, your actions, your emotions, your interactions, your responses, everything right is then manifesting so whatever you're in now is what you are going to be manifesting over here and then over here right and again I talked about this yesterday these big manifesting uh, experts on YouTube talking about this we are co-creating our reality as we go and yes there are these certain terms and conditions, witchcraft, spells, agreements, you know, Akashic records, all of the things there. But generally, we are co-creating every single day for the future that we are wanting to create. Some of us are creating on default beautiful souls are the words they just said. And you need to begin to be more mindful what you're saying, what you're thinking what you're listening to, who you're talking to, what conversations you're getting involved in, you know, what are you grateful for, what are you thinking about, what are your dreams and goals, are you speaking negatively or positively, are you around the right people. Right now you are asking the angels what you are supposed to do next, that has been coming up in so many of my private readings, and asking God to show you the way forward. But you are giving off mixed signals. This came out in yesterday's message about abundance. You cannot be speaking abundance, but internally feeling lack and scarcity. Mixed messages, beautiful souls. It goes out into the, uni into the universe and into the ethers. And it's like, you know, um, what do you want? Because you've just given now, you know, they're just showing me this. This is the energy that you're creating. And for some of you, this is why you haven't been able to move forward. They're just saying in conflict, you have been in conflict. Your words and your feelings, your emotions, how you feel on the inside and the outside are not in congruency. You are not in synch like in synergy. Um, you have asked for one thing, but your actions are indicating something different. This is a message for one or some of you right now and the angels need you to be consistent in order to help you on your way another big message for somebody to reach your maximum potential which we all have you need to be clear about your intentions and your actions and they're just saying another thing as well is you know they're just showing me someone saying, right, I'm going to do this. But then something comes up that's a bit of, bit, bit of a block or a distraction and then and then no. Or, or you're gung-ho, they're saying at the start, and then you peter out or you stop completely or you give it away or it gets left. There has to be consistent action, even if it is a baby step every single day, even if it's the same thing that you pick to do each day for a week, for a couple of weeks. Remember, you know, new neural pathways will usually start to form after 21 days. Some of you need to get on YouTube and really get into some of these subliminal um, 
meditations where you can just put them on loop while you're sleeping at night to go deep into the subconscious. Some of you have got blocks back there. They're showing me this. Know that no matter what choices you've made and accidents that you've had along the way, your life is unfolding exactly as it needs to. Because we've also had to tick off karma. We've also had to tick off lessons and growth. We've also had to burn off generational curses and all of the other things for many of us with big missions especially, right? That's why I always say terms and conditions. It's not just always black and white for everyone. Angels and the divine aren't judging you. Somebody needs to hear this right now. Yesterday's message was about prayers not feeling as though your prayers weren't being heard right feeling as though you're in the naughty corner back here and you're being punished beautiful souls you are absolutely not being punished because that is not their purpose and it's not within their makeup the angels only know love your guardian angel who is with you some of you have two or three but we've usually at least got one each or we do have one each but beautiful souls even your guardian angel no matter what you've done no matter what you've done, they've stood beside you the whole time, pouring their love into you. And for some of you, you just need to feel that. You just need to connect with that. Know that you are never, ever, ever alone. They are here to love you. What did I just say? And by accepting even just a fraction of that love, cannot make this up, you will unlock the power that will be set upon your way. Love is the answer, beautiful souls, to absolutely everything. There is, there is no division. We are, it is not outside of us. We are all, we are all one. God, as, as I said before, you know, what did you do with love is the big question. Did you love one another? Did you judge others? Did you criticize others? you know, and yourself, they're saying. If you find yourself at crossroads right now, this was coming up, decisions last week. I may even link these videos in the cards or at the end as well. Ask yourself this, what is going to bring me closer to love? Because when you come from that place and space, I've talked about this so many times, but first time viewers, first time subscribers, beautiful souls or new subscribers, sit in a place where you are neutral, not in a highly reactive place or space, they're saying, but get yourself into a calm, centered place and ask yourself, if I take this direction, how does that feel? Does it feel good? Does it feel expansive? They're just saying, does it feel warm and glowing like you've got love and light around you? Or does it feel restrictive? Does it feel controlling? Does it feel icky, you know, just not good, like mm, not sure? Beautiful souls, your inner GPS, I write about this as well in my book, your gut intuition, you are on point at this time. Do not underestimate your intuition. Choose that. What is going to bring me closer to love? Choose that. Choose that, beautiful souls. Choose that. Then the angels will be able to guide you. Linking in with their love, feeling their love, beautiful souls. Not feeling separated, they're just saying to me right now. And your little, your little bonus from these gorgeous little angels of abundance, they're just like a little pocket guide, they're just like little like little mini cards, is positivity, positivity, faith, and optimism. And on this card, you can see this beautiful angel. She's got the lion, so they're just saying lion strength. You might feel like the little lamb right now, but beautiful souls, you have the courage of a lion. You have the angels looking after you and guiding you and protecting you. This little, like, cub on her lap as well, right? So really feeling angelic presence around you at this time you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations we've been talking about this for the last two days and positive energy 
Remember, no mixed signals. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Yesterday's message was Archangel Faith. This is going to be such a synchronistic week, beautiful souls, I feel. These are literally one after the other after the other again, as they usually always are. Many of you, or some of you out there, may need to call on Archangel Jophiel at this time to help you, right? Reconnecting with nature, barefoot, appreciating the beauty, particularly in nature, the flowers, the trees, the park, your garden, right? The pot plant, the beach, the ocean, you know, the mountains, the stream, whatever it is when you're driving about, when you're out and about, beautiful souls, appreciating absolutely everything around you, particularly nature, staying, right, in positivity as much as you possibly can. Can't be 100% perfect all the time. We're souls having a human experience. But the majority of the time, we must be in this positive energy, in this hopeful energy, in this faith energy surrounded by people who have your front back and side surrounded by people who who are going to reaffirm what you were trying to manifest into your life as well beautiful souls hit me up in the comments let me know has that resonated these are beautiful 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 messages uh, these last two days so again beautiful souls if you feel divinely led hit that little notifications bell and I will see you all in here for the next one. Have the most beautiful, blessed, abundant, happy day. Bye for now.